Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. All right, how are you guys? So I'm far, so good. How about you? Pretty good. Can't complain. Yeah, I'm glad to see you guys. Um, so, um, was everybody able to finish off the platform yesterday? Yeah? Yes, already finished. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Um, yeah, because um, it should have, well, it should have been finished um, yesterday. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody had been able to do that. Okay. How was your day today? Did you have a good day today or not yet? Oh, not really. Yes, all good. I was a little bit tired, but all good. Oh, good, good. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about you? Um, well, my yesterday <laughs> was uh pretty good. It was it was very nice. Um yeah, it was not too bad at all. Rare. It was um yeah. it was a relaxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, guys and girls. Uh, well, um, all right, since we don't have everybody here, um, we'll start, we won't do the, the attendance just yet. So instead, we're going to start with the rest of our class. Okay. So, all right. yes, so yesterday we were um, learning about non-defined, defining and non-defining relative clauses, right? Um, and something that is very important that you understand is that um, we cannot put the word that if it's a non-defining relative clause, okay? It's not possible. Um, to be able to put the word that, it has to be a defining relative clause. Um, that's the clause that identifies a person or gives a definition of what a person is or who a, or what a, a thing is. And that's the only way we can use the word that. Okay. Now, if you, um, if you put the word that, it's not possible to put commas. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Not possible to put commas. All right. Instead, um, you, yeah, it has to be a, comp it's one of those sentences that there's no comma because the relative clause is needed to complete the sentence. Okay. The other thing is that um, you need to put a comma if the information is extra. But remember, the information that is extra has to go directly after the thing that you are describing or no, sorry, not describing that you're giving more information about. So if you're giving it, for example, there was one in the platform um, that was talking about, um, I forgot right now the, the, the sentence, the exact sentence, but something about a props, they were talking about props. So you had to put the, the extra information was about the props, not about the people that they were describing, but about the props. So you have to put it after the props. Okay? So you you got to be very careful with those things. Okay? Um, and and for relative for non-defining relative clauses, I rem remember you can only use who, you you can only use the word who for people or yeah, for people, and which for things and animals. Okay, now we haven't really in, in this in in the platform we really haven't learned the word that which, but I just I'm letting you know ahead of time. That's how. Um, yeah, that's that that's one of the words that you can use. Okay, all right. Well, I see that there are more people connected, so let's take attendance. Get that out of the way. Um, just 
Give me a moment. Okay, here we go. Geraldine, sorry, Andrea Geraldine Sanchez uh, Recinos. Present, thank you. Great, thank you. Andre, uh, sorry, uh, Angel Antonio Ramirez Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Brendy Marilu Pimentel Krolchek. Present. Thank you. Oh, just a reminder, Brendy, um, the complete name. Okay. Uh, Erga Abel Tejada Pimentel, sorry, uh, Benitez. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Um, Edson Stanley Hernandez Alvarenga. Present, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, Edson. Uh, is it possible to turn on the camera? Ah, there it is. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Eduardo Jose Melgar Melgar. Eduardo Jose. Okay. Iliana Janet Alvarado Molina. Hi, teacher. Hello, Eliana. Okay, wonderful. Are you heading home? Not yeah. yet. No, are, no, no. Are you heading? Are you going? Are you going home? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, got it. All right. Thank you for connecting, even though you're not home yet. Um, Irma Raquel Garcia de Monterosa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jaime Roberto Aldana Beltrán. Jaime Roberto. Joana Yesenia Garcia de Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Excellent, thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Marin, sorry, me. Marina Stephanie Arevalo Sanchez. Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero Gaitán. Present teacher. Ah, there she is. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla García. Uh, present teacher. Excellent. Thank you, Roberto. Saul Antonio Hernández Torres. Saul Antonio Hernández Torres. Susana Beatriz Abrego Blanco. Hi, teacher. Hello, Susana. Okay, Vanessa Esmeralda Miranda Alfaro. Vanessa Esmeralda? Yes. Where? Yes. Uh, no la miro, Sus. ¿Dónde está? Me, me, me habla otra vez. Ah, ya, hoy sí, hoy sí la veo. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Eh, eh, Yance Andrea Meléndez Mayen. Yance Andrea Meléndez Mayen. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. So, um, like I was saying, we're going to um, do a little review um, of the re non refining relative clauses. Eduardo, you had a question? Yes. Yes, teacher. Sorry. Uh, I was absent, but I'm here. I'm already oh. the decision. Oh, okay. Thank you, Eduardo. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, guys and girls, we are going to begin. Please tell me if you can see my screen. Yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Wonderful. Okay. So this is um, the exercise letter B is about non-defining relative clauses. Those are the clauses 
that um, those are the causes that uh, give extra information and we need to use commas. So it says here, can you add non-defining related clauses in parentheses to the sentence? Now, something you have to be careful with, and what I was noticing when I was helping many of you in the platform, is that you have to be careful what is the extra information, because some of you were putting the wrong extra information. So just be careful with that, okay? And um, what I'm gonna ask you to do is work with a partner and you're going to um, complete these ones, okay? So just give me a moment while I... Okay, I'm going to send you guys this through WhatsApp. Okay, you guys should have received it. You guys get it? Yeah, um, yes, got it? Teacher, right now. Teacher, yeah. eh, cuando estaba, justo cuando estaba pasando asistencia, se fue la energía. Eh, oh. Creo que no me... <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avilar. Sí. Okay, sí, thank gracias. you, Karen. Sí. Thank you. Okay, um, all right, guys and girls. So I'm going to create the groups. I hope you will have at least one person to work with in your group. You should have two people, but some people for, for one or another reason will not be able to, to participate. So I'm, I'm hoping you have at least one person to work with. Um, if you don't, if for whatever reason, the two people that you're assigned with, um, or yeah, do not, um, cannot participate, uh, just just um, put the, um, just just touch the, the help, um, ask, for help button and I'll be able to reassign you, okay? All right, so here we go. We're opening the rooms. Hello, Marina. Hi, teacher. Good Hi. Evening. Good evening. Okay, so right now I just sent everybody to breakout rooms. So I'll send you right now to uh, to work with somebody, okay? Okay, teacher. I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the the girl. I don't know. The, the name is uh, uh the last the last name is is I don't remember right now the last uh, name. But uh, anyways, you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh, start. <laughs> yeah, you have the 
the screenshot. Yes. I don't, I don't know. If, I have. Uh, can you? I don't know if you, you have. Can, in the uh, WhatsApp. Uh, I, let, me, let me let me check. Okay, I got it now. Okay. So let me see if I understand. Can I do define the relative? Leamos la primera. Okay. 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 A foreign correspondent who writes about events in other countries, travels all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, no sé si tengo que mencionar las comas, dónde van. Uh, yo creo no. que no, solo la oración. Uh -huh. Solo la oración. Uh -huh. yeah. Just make sure you put the commas in yeah. the correct place. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. 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 Like Again. Okay. Me too. Me. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Uh, our web page. Hey, who? No, comma, who is a graphic artist? A designer new sophisticated computer knowledge. Knowledge. No, knowledge. Eh, yo la tengo de otra forma. Me la dio correcta. Ajá, la voy a leer. A web page designer. Coma. Ah, es verdad, designer. Ajá. Bien, así es correcto. Yo la tenía equivocada entonces. Mm. Ajá, de la web page designer. Coma, who is a graphic artist. Así, ¿verdad? Needs yeah. sophisticated computer now. Uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Mm, no, ¿Cómo es la última palabra? Knowledge. 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 Es, digamos, okay. Cuando usted dice yo no sé, I don't know. No. I don't know. Knowledge. I don't know. Knowledge. knowledge. Uh -huh. Actually, uh, it's not knowledge. It's no. knowledge. 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 Yeah. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. okay. Knowledge. Okay. Knowledge. 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 Okay. Okay. Thanks. Tengo la tres. Thanks, teacher. And. You're An welcome. editorial page editor, comma, who is a daily newspaper columnist, gives opinion about current. Ah, no puedo pronunciar la última palabra. Issues. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yo así la tenía. Uh -huh. Sí, está bien, sí, la tengo yo también. Uh -huh. sí. eh, the final. Okay. Gossip. Gossip. Is correct, teacher? Pronunciation, gossip. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Thank you. A gossip columnist, comma, who gets to go to Fabulous. Ah, esa palabra. Fabulous. Fabulous. Paris, comma. Write about celebrities and candles. Fabulous. 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 Mm -hmm. Fabulous. Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous parties. Así. Fabulous parties. Fabulous parties. Fabulous parties. Fabulous parties. About celebrities. Así. Fabulous. Celebrities. Is this a pronunciation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The pronunciation is celebrities. And it's scandals. Scandals. Mm -hmm. Celebrities. And it's scandals. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Finish. You're finished, girls? Yes. Yes. yes All right. Excellent. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. Just gonna I'm just going to go check that the other groups okay. are finished. Well, I think you should, yeah, no, I think okay. you should be finished. So I'll, I'll just bring the back in about a minute or so. Uh, comma again. Mm -hmm. you, have, you have to put a comma again and then who is a graphic artist and mm -hmm. then you have to put uh, one more time a comma a comma and mm -hmm. then need so need, sophie sophisticated sophisticated I, I don't know if it, that's right that that, that I, I try to okay to computer sophisticated computer now Knowledge. knowledge knowledge yes yeah that's the uh, second it's a current yeah that's the second one right um so let's see that no the third one the third one is an uh, editorial page, page. E editor Editorial. giving gives option opinion, opinion uh, opinions about about current issues uh -huh. who is a daily newspaper columnist okay i think is a editorial page editor mm -hmm. Co comma who is a who is a daily newspaper Columnist, I don't know. Columnist, I don't know if I, I say it right. Another but comma. Another comma, right? Gives opinions. Gives opinions about about current issues. Yeah, that's the third one. Okay, the last one. Let me see. I go go go. I don't know how to say gossip. 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 Bo gossip. Gossip. Is no, that no, no, right? no, 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 no. Gossip. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, a gossip, gossip. columnist. Columnist. Well, right. I'm, what does it mean gossip, uh, teacher? Gossip columnist. Gossip columnist is somebody that writes about gossip. It's about a celebrity, right? Yeah, around. usually, usually they they write about celebrity. Yeah, they're uh, uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Gossip, write about celebrity and a scandal, maybe. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Uh, okay. Who gets? Okay. All right. All right. Missy... Her... See? Yes, teach. How are yes, you guys teacher. doing? Are we almost ready? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll see yeah. you in the maid room then. Okay, okay. teacher. All right, guys and girls, let's check the answers. Can everybody see my screen? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So let's start with the first one. A foreign correspondent travels all over the world who writes about events in other countries. So... What's the extra information? 
Mm -hmm. Start by that. Who writes about events in other countries? Excellent. Who writes about events in other countries? Now, what is it describing? What is that sentence that that clause describing? Or giving not not sorry, not describing, giving extra information about. About foreign correspondent. correspondent. Perfect. About a for a foreign correspondent. So we're not we're gonna put it directly after the foreign correspondent. We are not going to put it after the world. We're gonna put it after the foreign correspondent. Okay? So it's gonna look like this. Oh, let's make it smaller. Okay, that's better. So a foreign correspondent, comma, comma, very good. Who writes? Who writes about events in other countries? Comma. Mm -hmm. Very good. Travels all over the world. Thank you very much, Brendan. That is correct. It yeah. just travels, it not travels. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Travels. Yeah. There Thank we you. go. Mm -hmm. And that's our answer. Did everybody get that answer or? Yes, I do have that answer. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Excellent. All right, good. So that is our first answer. Okay. Remember, commas, don't forget the commas. We need the commas directly after um the thing that we are just that we're giving information about or the person you're giving information about and directly after the non-defining electric clause so you have to put two commas don't forget about that um i was noticing that in some of your answers on the platform some people were just putting one comma remember you have to separate the whole thing with two commas all right next uh, a web design, oh, sorry, a web page designer needs sophisticated computer knowledge. So uh, who is a graphic artist? So what is the non-defining relative clause? A web page designer. Okay. All right, but be before we write it down, I just want to make sure. What is the, mm -hmm. what is the designer. extra information? Who is a graphic designer? Good. Who is a graphic artist? Good. Who is a graphic artist? And what is the thing, what or who is the thing that we're giving information about, extra information? A web uh, page, page designer. designer. Oh, very good. A web page designer. So it has to be directly after that thing. Okay, so we're going to say a web page. page. Designer, designer. Mm -hmm. comma. comma, very good. Who is a graphic comma? Who is a graphic designer? Oh, sorry, a graphic artist. Sorry, a graphic artist. Oh, be careful with the word designer, please, because um. A also designer spelled D C S I G E, not N G. Okay, so it's not the singer, it's designer. Okay, so be careful with the spelling for that. All right, so right. who is a graphic designer? Artist, uh -huh. So a graphic artist, comma, uh huh. Need sophisticated yes. computer knowledge. Greater computer knowledge. Mm-hmm. Very good. Period. Okay. All right. Period. Yes. All right. Everybody got that answer? I do. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Perfect. Okay. 
Next, an editorial page editor gives opinion about current issues, who is a daily newspaper columnist. What is the extra information that we have here? Who is a daily newspaper columnist? Good. And what is that giving extra information about? An editorial, an editorial page editor. Good. An editorial page editor. So it has to be directly after it. So we're going to start with an editorial page editor. Coma. Coma. Very good. Mm -hmm. Who is a daily newspaper columnist? Coma. Coma. Gives up. Good. And don't forget the comma. Mm -hmm. Comma gives opinion about current issues. Okay, very good. Excellent. Everybody got that answer or any questions? So first of all, question, teacher. It's okay. Uh, how do you mm -hmm. say ish, issues? Ah, good question. Ish. Issues. So the stress, the, sorry, the, 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 the double S is pronounced sh. So issues, issues. Okay. Issues. Yeah. The word issues has two oh. meanings. It could be topics. So in this case, it's current topics. And issues can also be problems. Okay, so do you have any health issues? Do you have any health issues? Means do you have any health problems? Like a mental mental problems. It mm. could be, it could be, but not necessarily. Oh, okay. it, yeah, it could be. But yeah, it just um so health health issues could be like maybe um you you have diabetes. Um, maybe okay. you have um, you're having constant headaches. That's a that's a health issue. So issues are problems in general. Okay, so it has two meanings. Could be what? Como algún asunto, por ejemplo. It can be like the the two meanings. Like it could oh, be okay. um, topic, like a un, un asunto. Yeah, yeah. So in this case, oh. yeah. Uh huh. Or okay, problems, yeah. So it, it depends on the context. Okay, thank you for your help. Teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. What's the difference between issue and problem? Mm -hmm. sorry, sorry, could you repeat the question? What's the difference between issue and problem? So there isn't, there isn't any difference. It's just that in some contexts, it's preferred to use the word issues. For example, doctors will ask you, if you're going to an English-speaking doctor, they'll ask you, um, so what issues are you having? They won't ask you what problems. Um, they'll just ask you, what issues are you having? So it's mm. not, it's not, it, it's not that there's a difference. It's just that, mm. um, uh, that in a certain context, it's probably more common to use one more than the other. Because problems, I, I guess because the word problems gives a very negative connotation. So if you don't mm -hmm. want to be very, very negative, it's probably better to use the word issue because issue is a little more neutral, right? All right. Yeah, All right. because problems are always negative, right? Always negatives right problems are negatives but issues can not necessarily be that something negative because uh, issues can also be mean topics so it's kind of a little more neutral all right cool thank you you're welcome all I'm right sure yeah i'm sorry i'm sorry the last question uh, is like that insane is the always different insane and issues is the same thing or insane? No. Insane. No. Yeah, exactly. Insane. Um, insane means somebody that has a mental problem. So oh, yeah, yeah, okay. somebody that's crazy. 
right? Okay. Uh, but that's totally different, right? <laughs> yeah oh, oh. yeah you oh, don't okay. don't don't say that the person is insane if you're just saying that they have <laughs> um, they have uh health problems because no it's not the same thing like it, like i said um if you go to the doctor to the doctor may ask you so uh what are some of what what issues are you having and they they were they're just referring to any health problems so it could be like maybe your knee is um is hurting you okay uh or maybe um i don't know uh you're having constant constant headaches or maybe uh you're having a problem on your skin right so all of those are health issues or health problems but being insane is somebody that is uh, yeah, kind of. like really mentally ill and um, cannot function. Okay, she's. If you say okay, she's insane, okay. it means she's crazy, right? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. The teacher, it is uh, associ asso associated with difficult de de decision and disagreement. Is it associated with what? It is associated associate with difficult decisions and disagreements. Disagreements. Issue. Yes, disagreement. Correct. Mm, Thank you. It could be, but not necessarily. Like, for example, we can you can say, oh, um, my girlfriend and I are having some issues. That means okay. that we're having some problems. And yes, in that case, you're 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 having disagreements, but not necessarily. So it just means that it depends on the context. Oh, okay, okay. 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 All right. Uh, any other questions about issues? No, they take no one. Okay. All right, let's move on then. Number four, uh, a gossip columnist writes about celebrities and scandals. Uh, who gets to go to fabulous parties? What is the extra information? Who gets to go to fabulous parties? Perfect. And what is that inform extra information about? About a gossip columnist? Good, good. A gossip columnist. Columnist. It's not about the celebrities. It's not about the scandals. Okay, so don't put it after those words. Put it after a column. Col a col sorry, a gossip columnist. So we're going to start with a gossip columnist. Comma. Comma. Right. Who gets to go to fabulous? No, no, no. Artists. To go to fabulous parties. Fabulous parties. Come on. Write. About, about about scandals. And scandals. Wonderful. There you go. Was that the answer you everybody got? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Questions? Before we move on, do you have questions? No? No, good. Okay, perfect. All right, in that case, what we'll do is we'll start with our last unit, uh, which is uh, unit 15 and which is section number five as well, but you guys already finished the platform. Um, and um, this one is called, it should be a law. Okay, that's our last unit. And we have here some information about uh, things that are against the law or um, that are, um, what's the word? Um, that are, Illegal, that's a good word. Illegal in different parts of the world. So, for example, in the United States, can someone read me what is 
against the law or what is illegal in the United States? Who wants to help me read this? Yancy, okay. Can I? Oh, yes, of course, go ahead. Okay, in the United States, it's against the law to harm commas in Arizona. In Kentucky, the law requires people to take a bath once a year. In New York City, horses must be given a 15 minutes coffee break every two hours. In the state of Washington, it's illegal to pretend your parents are rich. Okay, so what do you think of these of these laws? Kind of cuckoo. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, who cares uh, when people take a bath or not? I mean. <laughs> well, it says, uh, it says uh, once a year. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, real. I understand, but against the law, seriously. <laughs> and it's real. Yeah. It's, it, it, look what it says here at the bottom. It says. Sources, it is illegal to quack like a duck, the book of lists, right? So, and uh, you can find it here in www.dumblaws.com. Yeah. How many camels do you know that exist in Arizona? Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I don't I have did. any. I've never, I, I've never even heard of any camels in all of the United States, much less in Arizona. Uh, so I don't understand why there, there have laws against hunting camels. That's strange. That's my rhythm. Why is that law? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, uh, what, what about in, so, so in, in New York City, now, why do you think they would uh, they would say this? They they have to have coffee breaks. <laughs> and horse drink coffee. Do horses drink okay. coffee? No, I I, I, I think suppose. coffee break is just uh some time for they have to breathe and relax, not okay, exactly drink coffee. Yeah, but they call it coffee breaks. They don't call it just breaks. They call it coffee breaks. That's uh, right why coffee yeah and um <laughs> you imagine the the horses oh uh, yeah like exactly <laughs> exactly can you imagine like i mean and you know can you imagine um going to court and, uh, because your horse uh sued you because they you didn't give them the coffee break every two hours my goodness. It's it, and besides that, it's like how hard do horses really work in New York City? <laughs> I don't know that, but here is kind of crazy. Yeah. I would say. I would say so too. And uh pretending your parents are rich. So you in 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 the state of Washington, if you um if you find out that a teenager, or or not not just any just any person, I guess it doesn't even say this has to be a teenager, but they are saying that their parents are rich, you can sue them. You can take them to court. Imagine. Okay. Well, uh -huh. well, what means being rich? Ah, yeah. good it, question. It exists, it exists a limit, or a, a, I don't know, or a standard to be considered rich or something like that yeah you're absolutely right about that yeah what is rich right because for one person rich can be you know having a million dollars and for another person rich can be just simply um you know having a big house so you're right maybe i don't know mm -hmm. yeah maybe mm -hmm. yeah Okay, now let's read about uh, in other countries. What other uh, interesting laws? Can someone help me read this? All right, I can do it. Wonderful. In other country, all right. 
In Switzerland, it's an offense to hang clothes out of to dry on a Sunday. Um, it's, a, it's illegal to own a dog except a seeing-eye dog in Iceland. It's against the law not to flush a public toilet in Singapore. In Finland, people must know how to read in order to get married. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you ever go to Switzerland, make sure that you do your laundry on the Saturday, not the Sunday, because if you do it on Sunday, you're you're going to be going to jail on that same Sunday. <laughs> right? And uh, I'm sorry for the dog lovers. Don't ever go to Iceland. Okay, if you're a dog lover, you can't go to Iceland because you're not going to be able to have your own pet. And, oh, and I, my question is, my big question is in Singapore, it says it's against the law not to flush a public toilet. So who goes in and checks if you have flushed the toilet or not? <laughs> I don't know, maybe the next person that goes to the restroom, see all dirty and I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to come out. Cameras, maybe. <laughs> maybe the, oh, next no. the next person, yes. Oh yeah, now we the common some people. I'm totally agree with it. Some insane people put cameras on the bathrooms, uh, maybe. Yeah, they have it. Totally Could <laughs> be. Yeah. And uh if you want to get married, just make sure you know how to read everybody. I think everybody knows how to read here, right? So you can it's okay, you can get married then in Finland. Okay. So do you know any other um unusual laws what do you think of these laws well what we're going to do is we're going to be discussing these questions which of these laws would you like to have in your city or country and why can you think of reasons for these laws do you know of any other unusual laws so these questions you're going to be discussing with um with a group okay and um i'll send you guys the I'll send you the right now. The I just send it to you guys right now, so you should be receiving it. All right, so um, let me put you guys into breakout rooms. Okay. Um. All right, here we go. Putting you guys into breakout rooms and about oh, five minutes, okay? Here we go. Hello. 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 I'm not sure if Vanessa is available right now. Yeah, I am. All right, sorry. Okay. Okay. So Susana and Vanessa can participate, but Joanna can't. Is that correct? Yes, uh, es que si enciendo la cámara me saca de la plataforma cuando entro a los breaks. Oh no, but that's but as long as you are participating, can you participate? Yes. Joanna, okay, perfect. There you go. All right, so you girls can go ahead and discuss. All right, thank you. Thank you. So what do you think about the the these laws, this initial initial laws? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer hoy si no lo entendía la ficha? All right, we have the um some questions. For example, 
can you think of a reasons for this loss? Do you know um, of any other initial loss? We have to answer the questions. Oh, uh, yeah. The first question, which of these laws would you like to have in your city or country? All right. So what's your answer? Maybe the children go go to school. All children. ¿Cómo se dice obligar obligar a los padres? Force further. So you mm -hmm. you have to be discussing about the the laws that we we have there. So which of those laws would you like to have in your country or your city? So from from the ones that we were discussing before, these ones. Right? These these laws here? From these laws, which ones would you like to have? Um, okay. 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 They are in the in the WhatsApp group, so you can find them there. Okay. All right. For me, it will be um you know, the one that has Switzerland, that is an offense to hang clothes out to dry on a Sunday. I'm not very good at it actually. Mm -hmm. All right. Hello, is anybody there? Uh, um, I don't understand. Okay, so the the do you see the questions that you that we have in the WhatsApp group? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, those are the questions she's discussing. Those same questions. Law son leyes, verdad? Leyes, uh huh. Ah. Which of these laws would you like to have in your city or country? Mm -hmm. From those laws that were discussed. Yeah, lo voy a decir en español. Yo decía que hubiera una ley que. Sí, no, no sabía. Que todos los fueran. Sí, sí. O sea, uh -huh. de esas leyes, ¿cuáles les gustaría que, que hubiesen? Ah, de las leyes que acabamos de leer. Ya. Yeah. Ah, okay. No había entendido bien entonces. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Si escuchan palabras, malas palabras ahí, disculpen, son mis vecinos. They might think it's. I'm this thinking it's opinion. important because even even uh, when if you get married and you can read something, so how you going to sign? Uh, they you, you know you can lose all your properties, or you can uh, 
lose something that you have because you don't know what you're going to sign. <laughs> they they say, oh, okay, we're going to get married, but at the end, it could be something who is cheating you and try to take all from you. Yeah. So yeah, it's something important at the end. It's really sad because in our country, on the countryside, there are many, many people that uh, who know how to read, right? What was the second question? Can you think uh, of a reason for this love? love? Do you know of any other unusual loves? I can't pronounce loves. Hello. Unusual love. Mm. I don't know. I remember. Let me check. Abortion. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm against about the abortion. Oh. La, el because I think uh, it's something that they can uh, For me, this kind of crazy because if you if you uh person you can take care of your body in case that you get married or you have a boyfriend now what they everybody have uh, many options for uh for taking and not uh, get pregnant for example it's like in other country they accept that if you are pregnant you can uh what is the name? Abort. 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 You can abort. So I think it's, it's crazy. I don't know. That, the, the, uh, that topic is really, really crazy. It's really hard in our country. Uh, uh, but... <laughs> Um. Uh, everybody have to uh right to live to live, and for me, I consider that uh, if you if you if you want to have a boyfriend, if you want to have a uh, ex, uh, you know uh. Obviously, you and in the future you will be uh, pregnant. Uh, pregnant. And pregnant. I'm sorry. And for that reason, maybe the point is uh, that people need to be prepared, need to uh, have a good knowledge uh, for. Hello, everybody. Lo sacaron. La plataforma lo sacó. Sí, teacher, me sacó. Yes, teacher. Pero ya, ya, hace poquito. That's okay. Don't worry. We're, we're coming back. We're all coming back. All right, so which of these laws would you like to have in El Salvador? Which ones do you think would be a good idea? Like, I don't know if it is in China, teacher, the woman or the family only can have like a two babies and that's it. Okay, so you think that would be good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because nowadays, like some people say, no, I have money and 
and I kept pay for this, and I was talking in the group that, that uh, a lot of small houses that I, that, that, you know, the, the big companies are building, and what happened with the animals, <laughs> with the birds, with all the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everybody said, oh, yeah, it's hot. Oh, wow, it's hot. It's hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it. Okay. We, we don't have plenty of room. As you can see, the, the rush hour now is like a, you can you can travel. Yeah, that's true. What about the rest of you guys? What do you think? And what other laws would you like to see in El Salvador? And it, uh, I would say that the the law that has in Iceland, mm -hmm. uh, I think that it's really interesting because uh, if we have that law uh, here in our, in our country, mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, there are not a lot of people on the street uh, because uh, people don't care uh, the dogs. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right. Do you know of any other unusual laws in other countries or in El Salvador? Yeah, unusual. Like in India, I think the all men get married with uh, I cannot say like a babies, uh, girls for mm -hmm. five years old or six years old, and they they have to get married with an old man. Yeah, uh, okay. this time really, really crazy. Well, I I learned recently that here in Thailand there is a very unusual law, and the law is that you cannot have a deck of cards. What is deck card? A deck of cards. You know, deck of cards. No, no, no. Um, naipes. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's against the law unless you uh, declare it and they have to stamp it. They have to stamp, it has to have a government stamp. If it's not, if it's if, if it doesn't have it, it's illegal. So now you and know. What happened with the casino? <laughs> yeah, they because they have the stamp. They, they I guess they have uh, the government okay. stamp. But it's if, like a... Do at home you can you can have because it's illegal. Yeah, if 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 you if you bring it into the country and you don't declare it, then you then that's illegal. Ah, oh, that's crazy. Yeah, so that's that's how it works. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be the end of our class today. So um uh, just remember, uh, tomorrow we still have class. We have two more classes. Don't forget, um, the attendance is always necessary because um, we need the the attendance to be able to uh, get to the requirements for the uh, to pass the course. Right. So don't don't forget that. So see you guys tomorrow. Take care. All right. See you later. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you.